That's he was a, unconscious when the plane landed. He was unconscious when it landed. That's incredible. And his wound had started to heal. Three I days after he, he was shot. That is very, that's very strange. That's something that would be on my comprehension, but I think he was being watched out for. And then you know his IQ I mean? took a dramatic so rise. Yes, from a 162 or 160 something to a 232, his IQ had risen. Absolutely yeah. amazing. He was also very telepathic too. I was reading yeah. on his on Dr. Boylan's writings about somebody him somebody you would think the dark yes. side, and that's what I call these people, I guess. Yes. If, you know, if you want to oversimplify it, but uh, you know, you would think they would want to keep somebody like Colonel Steve Wilson in their corner. But what the modus operandi of this group is, just like with what Orion was doing, uh, his 18th hit right before he came to Wendell Stevens and made his information public, uh, or uh, to, gave his information to Wendell Stevens, mm -hmm. was that he had performed an assassination on another secret special agent uh, for the government over in Budapest, Budapest Hungary. So right. what they do is they use people until they're no until they know too much, and or they, they could they could spill them. the beans, as you like to say, and then terminate them. And then yes. they terminate them. Yeah. Colonel Wilson also reported of a group called the Military Agency for Joint Intelligence, or MAGI, and he claimed that the highest level of this group is level 33, which included Henry Kissinger and Edward Teller. Right. They are both in Henry the executive Kissinger board. Henry Kissinger is a big player in all yes. of this and very involved in mind control experiments. Yes, MK Ultra and all those mm -hmm. other. And level 32 is what they call MJ-12, Majestic 12, or Magic 12. And there were 36 members, including Kissinger and Teller, in this group in 1994. Level 31 is someone like Ben Rich of Lockheed Skunk Works. And Colonel Wilson also reportedly said that the Lockheed X-22A disc was based originally on an ET disc and that what he said was space warfare with military astronauts are already we a reality. We've got to give Dr. Richard Boiling credit because he yes. brought a lot of this information out and there's a very good uh, lecture that he gave that's available through the ufocongress.com website that uh, where Richard Boiling gives testimony about Colonel Steve Wilson and... Um, uh, that, that's also a must view in my opinion. Well, that sounds good there. And then before his death and at the urging of Dr. Boylan, Colonel Wilson created what they call a Star Wars city chart, which is the blueprint of the shadow government financed by the Rockefellers, according to the late Colonel Wilson. And according to Dr. Boylan, Colonel Wilson had also claimed that Bobby Ray Inman, CIA Naval Intelligence Admiral, U.S. Navy, had control over the company called Decision Science Applications Incorporated, and that this DSA Incorporated is a group made up all the, of all the heads of the military hardware manufacturing in the black area. And there was a gentleman named, did you wanna? I really gotta jump that? in here, Kyle, Absolutely. because I wanna say that uh, one of the photos that uh, Connor Ryan showed to Jim Delatoso up in Phoenix uh, was a picture of Bobby Ray Inman and Cheney together within S4. So uh, uh, those two have been very central in, in the control of this facility wow. and and been very big players and we got to go back and talk about Cheney here okay, because we, can't, we have five, five minutes to closing we, we roll must so go talk ahead about Cheney before we in. finish oh yes this is what the whole what the whole subject is on March 16th the 2009 Democratic Congressman Dennis Kucinich called on the House Oversight Chairman for an investigation and formal congressional probe into the claims by made by investigative reporter Seema Horsch that Dick Cheney was running quote an executive assassination ring from the vice presidential office Whatever became of that investigation? Well, uh, Speaking it, of I think it's stalled. I haven't heard any, th any mm -hmm. progress on that at all. But I think it's a very uh, germane investigation that's going to lead to opening up a huge can of worms that the government really doesn't want to get out because it's going to expose so much in mm -hmm. so many different areas and just really wreak havoc on our economy, on the way the American citizens think about their government. So it's a yeah. real big can of worms that they want to keep covered up. But as far as Cheney goes, what did Conor O'Ryan say in testimony to you on that videotape? What was one of the key people he saw within the S-4 facility He's, on level he two? He said he saw him standing there wearing a white coat with another man wearing a white coat with their hands in the pockets looking at it, one of the discs in Bay 7. So he actually identified Cheney who was Secretary of Defense at that time in 1991 as being within the S-4 facility on level two and doing an inspection throughout the S-4 uh, facility there. So he actually, that was the one person who he did recognize. He saw two others who he thought he had seen pictures of before, but he wasn't able to identify them, but he did identify Cheney. Well, you know, when So Sima, Cheney yes. is there in S-4, and Connor Ryan says he's an assassin working out of S-4. 18 years later, you got Seymour Hersh saying yes. that Cheney was running an assassination ring out of the White House. So you have 18 years apart, two different allegations. Seymour Hersh, very credible very reporter. Very credible. And, and right when other people were wrong. We've got two and minutes to Dennis the closing Kucinich, role. So. Uh, uh, who, who felt Seymour Hersh's 
uh, allegations were so important, a, a two-time presidential candidate, that he brought it up to the House Oversight Chairman yes. and wanted to initiate an investigation. So what a beautiful way to conceal government assassins. Boy, there you go. You can hide you know, them in a place like S4 where yeah, no one can forever. get them. There you go. You know, we need to have a second show on this, but I wanted to give the contact information for you really quick, Rick, if we can. Your website is UFO hypothesis.com there it is on the screen that's the plural yeah yes hypothesis not hypothesis hypotheses.com his email address is rick at ufo hypotheses.com uh, Kirk cosmic chronicles in, in information you can contact us through our email address cosmic mesa at azaliens.com and i'd like to at this point bring up uh kathy and tom Morel kathy star eagle and tom morello's book mesa, mesa. and uh you got a chance to read their I've book i read didn't it you? It's, it's well written and your authors authors but it's very well written and Excellent. it's a most remarkable story about how events are brought together by synchronicity so they work out for a yeah. major objective about too. Yes. I think some major synchronicity happened to allow this program to actually yes. occur today. Yes, and I have to make a quick announcement. Um, this is going, um, as, as of this, this show, this is going to be my last show for a little while. I, uh, due to personal obligations and the financial situation and everything, I need to take a several month hiatus from the show. Or I could, I, I was going to put in for a retirement from the show, but if Tom and Kathy want to retain me, that would be awesome. I'd love to they be should. at the show. It's, yeah, it's been wonderful. Um, I'm working on a book of my own right now about my advertising dolls, and I need to, I'm going to focus on that and take care of my family life, and also, Good luck on that, Adrian Lane is the young lady that you're going to be hearing singing. My heart will go on. Young lady, local lady, she's from Mesa. Very beautiful young woman there, got a beautiful voice. You can contact me, Kyle, at BehindTheParanormal.com if you're interested. In any more from music, this is My Heart Will Go On from the film Titanic, sung by Adrian Lane. Wendell, thank you so much thank for you. being so brave for all of us and enduring so much hardship for all of us to bring this information out. I, re I respect you so much. Thank, thank you, you. Sir, me too. We need to have you on another thank show. You. Thank you, Wendell. Thank you, Rick. Well, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you you guys did great. We covered most of the information. We've been talking about it.